Okay, I'm back, but it's not working. <laughs> hmm. It has to be... Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> hmm. Still not appearing. Hmm. Should I just try to display capture ding and just work with that instead of game capture? Maybe I'll just try doing that, but that means I have to, like, do some... I don't know. Editing real quick. Wait, maybe I'll try making it... Oh, wait, no, I need both screens because the bottom screen is the map. I thought about this using the top screen. The, the top screen. Just like, show that one and that's it. But I realized that, wait a minute, I need both. <laughs> Fuck. Um... <laughs> Hold on. Screen. OBS. Oh, never mind. I can just do wind uh sorry, window capture. That might work. Yeah, that definitely might work. Hold on. But the top part bothers me. How do I fix that? Wait. Hold on. Is there like a filter? I don't think there's a filter for this. Alright. Looks like we're stuck with the um the very obvious file system cockpig. Yeah. We're gonna be stuck with this obvious whatever the fuck this is. I'm gonna go like pair my controller now. Looks like this works. <laughs> I use X split, not OVS, but is there an area capture? I don't know if there is. I can check real quick. Hold on. Wait, setting. Is there a setting on the... Is this it? No, I don't think so. Where would it be? To be honest, sending the emulator to the menu bar unless you roll over it. Um, let's see. Now, this is opening up. This is emulation settings. This one just boot game directly, DSi mode, CPU emulation, LDDP. Nope, that's not the one. Um, video settings? Software, OpenGL, use separated tread, um, da, 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 da. is it? I don't think so. Oh. Nope, that didn't do anything. Alright, we're gonna ignore that. Um, audio setting, firmware setting, wait, what's firmware setting? Uh, overdrive. Yeah, nope. Um... Natural? Does this work? No, I didn't do anything. Um, limit frame rate? No. Layout? Sizing? Aspect ratio? No. 
screen gap. Oh yeah, there's gap. Oh yeah, you can gap it. All right, <laughs> that's that's better. <laughs> All right, that that's way better. <laughs> Yeah, I don't see any option to hide the menu bar unless Moon unless Moon knows, but I don't see it. Wait, is it interface? High mouse after. Let's say high mouse after inactive pause emulate when you're not all right. Um, which mode of capture do you chose? If you chose game capture, it won't show the menu. At least it works for me. Um, uh, when it comes to game capture, I use, let's see, the mode I use is capture specific window. And I tell it to capture the Melon DS. But as you can tell, <laughs> it did not capture it for some reason. And whatnot, but I kind of just feel like settling with this because I mean it works. It looks like this works. <laughs> I mean, yes, you see the 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 window menu up here, but honestly, I don't mind at this point because like how how else am I gonna stream a DS game if I don't have like the actual hardware with a capture card? <laughs> Like, I don't mind showing it. It'd be like one of those old YouTube videos, <laughs> like those old like YouTube play. Play Drew videos. <laughs> let's play. I mean, that was the word I'm looking for. Let's play. It just be one of those old school let's play videos. <laughs> and whatnot. But yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't mind this. <laughs> this this seems to work. So thank you, Moon and Pauls, for like <laughs> staying this long. <laughs> and like helping me out with this tech stuff. I'm gonna go do like the controller inputs now. I think you're good as long as it doesn't say unregister hype cam low mount. Yeah, I yeah, it didn't say that, so I'm glad. Also, hey Mickey, how are ya? I'm just doing a testing stream. I'm just we're testing stuff, all right. <laughs> but yeah, since you guys are here, that means you guys have like, um, you guys have the chance to make your own characters for Seven Dragons because, like, there's no main character in this game, you make your own party. So that means we're gonna go with the good old, like, hey, which class do you guys wanna be in, like, which outfit? <laughs> and whatnot. But I'll, we will get there when I, like, finish setting up the button inputs. Um, uh, well, not sure then. Like Paul said, you should put something to hide it. Alright, I'll try to hide it with something. How would I hide it? Wait, I can just. No, that's the wrong one. I could no. That's the one. <laughs> that's the wait. Does this work? This works. <laughs> All right, we're we're settling with this. This seems to work. Wait. This works. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> now I'm I'm gonna see if the audio gets captured. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> Let's see. It went from 60 frames to 40 frames. Um. Hmm. Wait. Wait a minute. That works, yep. <laughs> and the game is slowing down. 
Lurk, thank you for the lurk, Pauls. <laughs> Oh, wait, that just made it worse. My bad, guys. Um... Will this work? Let's see, need to improve. Holy squid. Nope, the game is literally slowing down. Hold on. The game is slowing down. It's at like... Around 35 frames. And the, it's not supposed to sound like this either. Okay. Hmm. Uh, console type. Yeah, I'm using the DS mode. I don't have any files. So we're just gonna ignore that. Hmm. Okay. Wait. Would this work? I mean, I guess the filtering worked. It's it's at forty frames now. Frames are getting better now. All I did was like turn off certain settings. But yeah, the game is not supposed to sound like this though. Wait, you're telling me that the moment it went on, like, me walking, like, it shows the people in the town, it just decides to chug. But the moment you give me a black screen, it just goes up to 60? Are you kidding me? Alright. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna play that game, huh? Alright. <laughs> I mean, I'm just laughing at this. I'm not like actually mad. I'm I'm literally just laughing at how <laughs> this emulator is handling me. But yeah, that was funny. Um. I want to mess with the settings for a little bit. Nope. I did not fix anything. What about this one? Oh, alright. That worked. Um... Yeah, that worked a little bit. I'm liking this. This is slightly working out.
Oh, no, I don't want, I do not want to do that. I thought pressing the CPU emulation might do something. But it told me it's going to reset, and I do not want to go through that long cutscene. Because you literally can't skip that. You literally can't skip that whole, like, long cutscene. So I'm just going to ignore that for now. Alright. I'll... I'll make my character first, and then you guys can... Make you guys' this character in the next. It's actually 60 this time! Hooray! Oh my god, I'm happy now. Wait, I have to talk, don't I? Oh god, um... Hi there, this is the Guild Management Center for Hunters. It's the first place a new hunter in Kazan ought to come visit. It's a place for hunters to meet, to form guilds, and to sign up new members. Do you belong to a guild already? Or are you starting your own? Oh, setting one up? Hmm, I wonder what you want to call it. Alright, um... I'm gonna- <laughs> I can't really think of like a funny or like a cool name for a guild to be honest. So I'm gonna go with something a little basic. <laughs> Wait, I'm pre <laughs> Look, I'm pressing the the back button. I kept pressing B instead of A. Hold on. Ray me. Done. Ray me. There you go. Our guild name is Ray May. <laughs> That's a nice name. I register for you. There's just one name there now, but you can add members at any time. I recommend finding three friends before you go. Go with your friends to the building next door. The quest, sorry, the quest office is the main place where hunters can find work. Anyhow, best of luck, I will be seeing you. As hunters, I suggest you um, blah, blah, blah. Okay, now we can register people now. Alright, um... Moon, since you first came here, which character you want to make? Which class? Mage. All right. Um, which portrait? One, two, three, four.
three. All right. And then we're gonna write down moon. All right. Moon. There we go. All right. Um. Since Paul's is lurking, um, I think Mickey is here. So Mickey, wh which class do you want to be? Fighter, rogue, samurai, knight, mage, healer, or princess? Princess. All right. Um, which look do you want? One, two, three, or four? Four. All right. And then I'm gonna write... Mickey. Gotcha. There we go. Um, let's see. We have a mage, a mage, a princess. We need one frontliner. <laughs> we- we need one frontliner. Um... Paul's is lurking. So... I'm not gonna make Paul's character because, like, you know, I kind of want them to have the option of doing it, so... We're just gonna make a knight character. Um... Alright, this- <laughs> this looks good. Um, we're gonna name it Gwen. My... Yeah, we're gonna name it Gwen because Gwen really likes playing tank characters. Oh wait, I don't think this fits their full name. Um... Alright. <laughs> Alright, that's their name. Alright, um... Alright, party select... Front... Back... Back... And back. Alright, there we go! We have Raimi! <laughs> Look, it's our party now. We're like walking and everything. And the game is slowing down. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> good to know. <laughs> Wait, where's the... Oh, it's the Y button. Alright. Yeah, that's party, that's custom. Yeah, custom. You start with three skills. Alright, Moon, I'm not sure if Mickey also play Etrian Odyssey, but Moon, you, you play Etrian Odyssey. Does, does, doesn't this look like an Etrian Odyssey like skill menu? Power, speed, intelligence. How it's divided into like different categories. <laughs> like you can tell this is like some Etrian Odyssey like skills. <laughs> Yeah, it does. Yep. <laughs> I'm kind of hating how it's like slowed down and whatnot. It's kind of annoying me a little bit, so... Is there a way for me to fix that? Audio sync? No, audio sync didn't work. Mm. No, I'm just turning off the audio. <laughs> I'm just gonna look through the menu. I did not mean to press that. Hmm. 
Let's see. Shield is good because of like front and like rear. Okay, since everyone are back line people, if I make Gwen learn shield skills, <laughs> they they're pretty much gonna learn this. And then the other ones. These are good once we fight bosses. I don't know if Shield Crusher is good. It's been a while since I played this game. Um, Guardmaster is fine if we just want to... Yeah, oh wait, this is good actually. That's good. This one's decent. And then Chivalry. <laughs> this, this skill line is actually funny because this actually synergizes well with the Princess class. Because what Princess does is... um. They're pretty much the how would I describe them? They're pretty much the buff character. Like they inflict buffs on the team. Like they know stuff like Nature Song, which makes them like a decent like healer group. Oop, this one like lets us recover our NP, which is an absolute godsend because Moon, both me and you, we're gonna be like the main damage dealers at this point. Like the magic in this game hits so hard. <laughs> Um, let's see. Heated words. This one, you know, increases our physical attack. Hard words, defense up. Lullaby is also really great for, like, for recovery reasons, but there's the whole, like, sleep status effect part of it, but you can easily clear that. I don't remember what this one was, though. Then we have cruelty. <laughs> what this does is that you essentially debuff enemies. I guess you can say it's similar to, like, the Hexer. And, um, Etrian Odyssey. So, Princess is essentially, like, a Hexer with a who has access to, like, a lot of support skills. Like, they learn this. Inflict sleep to all opponents. Inflict confuse on all opponents. <laughs> inflict curse on all of them. Inflict stunt. Bleeding. And then we have the whip. <laughs> Physical damage makes the enemy fear you. Punishment. I think you just make, yeah, it just makes you, um, I think this makes you do more damage the more status effects the enemy has. Stand for me. Um, now scare enemies will take hits for you. Yeah, so, like, you have to terrorize the enemies, and then you use this to make the enemies your meat shield. <laughs> That's, like, the funniest thing about Princess. <laughs> It's like, yeah, you can make her, like, a complete dominatrix. <laughs> like, your godlord. Kill for me. A scare enemies will attack all fours. <laughs> die for me. Scare enemies will kill themselves. Yes, die for me. This is, um, this is Alice from <laughs> Mega Ten, from Shin Megami Tensei, die for me. <laughs> and there's Provoke. This one is actually good if you pair it with the knight. This one's also good too, if you want to make your knight essentially your number one simp. Because the knight learns like chivalry skills, which makes them like do, I would say, a good amount of damage to enemies if it's like targeting your allies. This one pretty much is like, hey, this guy's bullying me, go beat him up. <laughs> it makes your knight does like a fuck ton of damage. <laughs> But yeah, you guys also learn like healing spells too, like normal healing healing spells. But see, the drill of taking command, add again when others do. I think this is essentially like you get like another chance to act. So that's cool. What do you need to do? You need level 5 speed. Alright, good to know. And then we have the mages. So mages in this game, they know um fire... Ice, Dunder, Mana, Space. Yeah, Mana and Space. Alright, so... The best way I would describe 
mana is that essentially it's non-elemental. And non-elemental is actually really great in this game. Because remember how non-elemental is like in Etrian Odyssey 1, where it's like, okay at best, like there's really no reason to go, like, non-elemental is better to use, like, the other elements for, like, weakness effectiveness. But in this game, non-elemental is actually quite viable, and you will learn some pretty powerful skills to boost your damage up, like concentration. This will literally make you, like, a god nuke. <laughs> This one's also great too. I think this one is um How does this work? I think this one is like it's similar to the princess one like you can just recover your MP rather quickly. We have portal jump. This one let's just set up a portal. Exit let's just return to the door. This is essentially like making everyone has a shield. But honestly, I don't really do that. <laughs> Let's see, medicine always active, uh, blah, 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 blah. All right. My character sounds like a mean diva. Go my simps, indeed. <laughs> that is what you are, Miki. <laughs> and whatnot, but yeah. Um. Let's see. From what I remember, Moon, fire is good in the early game because a lot of enemies are weak against fire. But in the late game, they become rare. So it's like, yeah, there's no point in using fire anymore at that point. But to make up for that, ice is actually really great for the late game. Like once you get to the second half of the game. Because that's when enemies start being weak to ice. Like in the first parts of the game, ice is useless. Like there's no reason for you to use ice. <laughs> And then if you're wondering, like, what about Dunder? What does Dunder do? Is, like, Dunder good or Dunder bad? Dunder is actually really good. Because for some reason, a majority of the bosses who are dragons, mind you. Haha, ha, you get it? The game's called Seven Dragon. And the bosses you face in it are just dragons. Haha, ha, but uh, anyway. Hey, attempt at low humor aside. Um, Dunder literally affects, like, a majority of the dragons. Like... You can just use Dunder on them, and they just crumble like it's nothing. And whatnot. So, like, yeah. So, what we're gonna do is that I'm gonna have Moon... Hmm. I would say... Because I kind of want to make things easier for myself, but at the same time, I don't want to make Moon kind of irrelevant if I choose the wrong ele element so um how about this moon you do, you will learn ice and then non-elemental so that way if the enemies are like resistant to ice you can just spam your non-elemental nukes so you be like doing good <laughs> and then for me I'll use dunder and then a non-elemental so that way I don't know. We're just going to be really good at killing stuff. <laughs> We're just going to be really good at killing stuff, Moon. <laughs> Alright. Oh, yeah. The, the stream is silent. I forgot. I should put some music up. Hold on. Where is my playlist? Where is my playlist? <laughs> Okay, sounds like fun. Yeah. I do apologize if this is, like, not a good Im first impression of this game. Because, you know, my laptop is not the best. <laughs> so because of that, it doesn't, like, come out... It doesn't make, like, the best, like, you know... I would say, looking <laughs> for this game. Like, I, I promise you that this looks better on, like, stronger PCs or you're playing it on the actual DS... I wanna. I guarantee that it looks better and sounds better and everything, but at the moment, my laptop is <laughs> struggling really hard, so because of that, it doesn't look that great. <laughs> oh, trust me, DS games are suck to emulate at times. It does, like... The reason why I'm doing this testing stream is to see, like, if it works for my laptop, so I can do, like, 
other DS games, Mickey. Like, I, I, I said this earlier in the stream with Moon, but I want to do, like, the Final Fantasy games on the DS. Like, the Crystal Chronicle games. Um, Final Fantasy 3 and 4. Or Heroes of Light. I'm the I'm more excited with that one. <laughs> and whatnot. Like I I wanna stream those and that's why I'm using Seven Dragon as like a testing stream game. <laughs> like testing it out to see if it, it's possible. <laughs> Ayo music got the original Seven Dragon. Hey Ruto, how are you? Wait, Ruto, you're here. Wait, we need to go make your character. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm just doing a testing stream, like the title said, and we just went through like a lot of um, let's say we we went through a lot of issues. So um, thank you Moon, Mickey, and Pauls for like staying with me for this long. It, <laughs> I, I was like, yeah, I don't think anyone's interested in seeing someone trying to crap shoot like an emulation that's like struggling really hard on their laptop. So I, I thank you guys for like being patient with me. I think Four Heroes of Light um, was easy to get to work on my old laptop in 2011. If, if, if that's the case, I want to try that next time to see if it does. If it does, then I'd be like extremely happy <laughs> and everything. But yeah, Ruto, since you're here, make your character. Let me put on some music because I turn off the, the music because the game is literally like chugging to the point like the frame rate isn't like constant to the point that the music suffer from it so i just decided you know what i'm just going to turn off the audio and just put on some random music i have lying around oof yeah oof but yeah ruto you want to make your character who do you want to be? You want to be a fighter, a rogue, samurai, knight, mage, healer, or princess? Hmm. I guess a samurai will do. All right. Um, which portrait? One, two, three, or four? Either samurai healer. Well, I'm already at the samurai, so, um... Which portrait do you want? Portrait 3 is good. Alright. And then we're gonna write your name... There you go. We have Register Ruto. <laughs> oh! I can like... Oh, that's cool. I can do that. <laughs> I think I'm fine with the current party setup. <laughs> so sorry, Ruto. I'll, I'll, I'll take you out... Um... Next time. When I stream this game again. I'll take you guys out. It's also a funny reference. Really? What is it? I want to know. Is it like because that portrait looks the closest to the, the the samurai portrait in the later games? Welcome to Request Management Center. Rookies? This is where the world hunters come for work and the awards thereof. Oh yeah, I forgot. My my playlist is like songs that are like two minutes long. Oops. Um wait, I need to look for one that's a little longer. Hold on. There we go. Why is it not loading? Alright. This is where the world's hunters come to 
Well, sorry, come for work and the rewards thereof. We mediate between clients and hunters. Keep doing requests in order to build a name for yourselves as hunters. Got it? You get it. Yes, I do get it. Glad to hear it. You also might want to poke around town for any other jobs to do. We are happy to have promised rookies like you. Stay safe and good luck. Ah, yes. One last thing. Press the Y button to open your menus. I already did that, my man. The custom option is very important. I already know that. <laughs> it's, it lets you spend your SP on various skills. As you venture, you will gain more SP each time you level up. Anyway, those are the basics, so get to it. I gotta find some guildies for my journey. Huh, this is trouble. What to do? What to do? Sisterly girl, sister. Okay, sisterly girl. I'm, I'm assuming this girl is an RR on Nason, so I guess that's what it is. <laughs> Especially because Night um, Samurai is one of the classes in Seven Dragon Twenty Twenty. Yeah, Samurai has always been like the most reoccurring class in like every Seven Dragon game. Like it appeared in the first game, it appeared in Twenty Twenty, and also Twenty Twenty Part Two, and it even appeared in um. Three, if I remember correctly. Oh, I can. Oh, if I press the B button, guys, I can like look at you guys, like the your 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 guys's like stats and whatnot. Nice. Um, still no one. Sheesh. I start the. <laughs> I start the guild I've been planning forever, and no one comes to join up. Hello, anyone? Someone, please, please, please join my guild. Wow, this 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 <laughs> this girl is desperate. Oh my god. <laughs> Quests are available. Once a quest opens up, you can accept it at any time from the quest op office. Let's see. Kaz, um, quest clarent, clerk, my bad. Clerk is at the left desk in the quest office. Go and take a look. Me at no, <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> beginner Rita. That's rough, but T. Yep. Yeah, it is rough indeed. <laughs> Oh wait, the music stopped. My bad. Novus, yeah. Oh my god, the music stopped. Hold on, let me find... There we go. This fits, because we're in a town. Let's see, I'm here from Morris. My nation is located east of Kazan. Um, along the way, there were monsters. There are monster rookie hunters might struggle with. Hmm. Sounds tempted. Tempting. I want to fight now. <laughs> Jeez, what a pain. What am I going to do? I can't carry that thing. At this rate, I'm going to be tossed out of the guild. Quarter four day. I don't recall our moving sp our movement speed being this slow, but oh well, I need to get used to this. Sisterly girl, hiya! Have you heard of the Traveler's Amulet? It's something you make to keep travelers safe. Right now, my brother's away journey <laughs> journeying as a rookie hunter. So I want to make a Traveler's Amulet for him. But you absolutely need a certain kind of nut. <laughs> He's leaving Kazan soon though. What do I do? Praise for a Traveler. Alright, so we need help this... This on this son. Find a nut. A certain nut. Full capitals. <laughs> You're free to accept and drop quests as you please, but you can only have three quests ongoing at one time. Um, please cancel quests you don't want to do at the time and take them later. Uh, wait, who did I talk to? Quest board. Alright, that, that, that. Alright, 
So these won't be hard. This one is a bit of a goose chase because we had to look for specific people for that. But I don't mind doing that. So let's just grab that. Collect three nuts. All right. And then we had to deliver that. That's completely fine because we can easily do these rather quickly. Wait, do we have good equipment? I want to know. Short sword traveler. Um, whip. Oh, you you already have a whip <laughs> to begin with. Oh god. Um, let's see. One, one. Do you get the order? Yes, of course. We heard from Mr. Menace. Can you fulfill it? It won't be easy to find that much gear, but we'll try our best. I appreciate it. By the way, yes, I know what you're looking for. Rush um, swords um, smiths have a fine reputation. Hmm. My, this is impressive. You weren't kidding. Is that all you wanted? Well, you were able to get a good deal of it, yes? On this sword, it's as, as, <laughs> it's as expensive, <laughs> expensive as you expect. Okay, I get it. Can't blame me for trying. Thank you very much. Thanks. I'll see you later. Someday, if you find a weapon that suits you, you'll go places, kid. Alright, he seems sus. <laughs> anyway, um, let's go see if we can buy some equipment. We only have a hundred gold on us. I kind of want to buy armor for us so we can, like, <laughs> last forever. But there's no shields. That's the thing. I want Gwen to have a shield. I guess for now, we're just gonna focus on grabbing some defenses. Alright, that works. We're gonna save our money. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna save money. This game follows Etrian Odyssey 1 logic. Well, Etrian Odyssey logic in general. Of how you make money in this game. Which is essentially, when you fight enemies, they will drop items that you sell for money. They don't drop actual money. <laughs> and that certain items that you get from enemies will like open up the weapon shops and such. So it, it really does play like an Etrian Odyssey game in terms of mechanics. So that's why I often say like, yeah, if you're going to play Seven Dragons and you're familiar with Etrian Odyssey, this game will be right at home for you. I think we can save in the world map, if I remember correctly. That's, yeah, that's the map button. Kind of reminds me of um, Final Fantasy TA2. Wait, TA. Um, tactics? Advance 2? Yes, I called it. Oh my god. <laughs> Way to go, me. I'm able to figure out um, game titles just by abbreviation. Let's go. Save the game. Yes, thank you. Please let me save. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, it looks like the frame rate gets better if we're in, like, shops. Like, we're inside inns and whatnot. Like, it goes from, like, some it goes from, like, something to, like, 60. The world map is, like, a constant 40, so that's not bad. Also 50 as well, so that's not bad. Alright, I'm gonna turn off my music real quick so we can listen to what the game's world map theme is. And I really want to get into a battle.
Or it's not that bad. Oh no. <laughs> the game is slowing down on the battle menu. Are you kidding me? Wait, 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 wait. I thought, I thought of something. I'm gonna pull up YouTube. <laughs> I just thought of something. We're gonna pull up YouTube, and I'm gonna look up the Seven Dragon. Sorry, Seven Dragon, Seven Dragon Battle Theme, so you guys can like listen to it without the game, um, you know, chugging, so you can't hear like the full majestic song. <laughs> There we go. That works. Look at that, guys. We got rodent teeth. <laughs> We're gonna sell that for big bucks. <laughs> oh, yeah. I completely forgot to get you skills. Hold on. I kind of want you to learn... These two early, Mickey, because it's gonna help us out in the long run, support wise. So I need to see what I need to grab. Nobility at 10, nobility at 5. Wait, are you kidding me? 5? Wait, what can I grab right now? Um, attack up and, and defense up. Alright. I mean, I don't mind. Wait. <laughs> You can provoke the enemies now, Mickey. You can just talk shit. You can literally just talk shit on the enemies now. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's funny. Um, I would say the fence up will be better so you can survive. <laughs> and then Moon, you will be my ice deal. Wait. When can I learn that? Level 1. Alright. When I learn this? Level 5. Um, what about Ice Mastery? Level 1. Alright. Let's do this. Learn this. Same goes with me. But I will... Put 1 point in Lightning. Actually, I'll do that in the next level up. Um... I need a shield for this. So right now, I... I guess Gwen will just be our, like, damage dealer. Oh, look at that, guys. It's butterflies. Oh yeah, I want to talk about the mechanic. Okay, so it's turn-based, as you can tell. It's a turn-based game. But there's a unique mechanic to it called EX. And what it does is that, essentially, it boosts your um, action. So, you have to press EX. And then you just press in whatever action you want to do. 
So let's say you press EX and then you press attack. That means you will do more damage. Or you do EX and then the and guard. That increases your um, damage reduction when you guard. And you know, vice versa. Like, it's very simplistic. You can only do this three times. And the only way for you to refill it is at ends. So you need to be really stingy with it. That's why you will save it mostly for like bosses. Overall, interesting mechanic. Hey, it didn't paralyze us. Oh. <laughs> Gwen got paralyzed. Oh no. Oh! But they still attack, so good job. We didn't get anything from that, but that was a good amount of experience. Alright. So it seems like everything is working fine. Right now. <laughs> Other than like me complaining about the frame rate. <laughs> Let's see, a group of moss. Oh! I found- Guys, we found- We found a nutshell! <laughs> we found the nut! We had to kill these guys to get the nut. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go murder the nut. Um, punch that. Magic. Magic. Nutball. Oh! That hits hard. Gwen died. Um, sorry, Gwen. Ooh. We got rodent. Are you kidding me? We didn't get the nut. Oh God. <laughs> That nut hit hard. I'm not lying. That that nut hit <laughs> that sorry. That nut actually hits hard, damn. Um fuck, how do you revive people again? I'm trying to remember. Um I don't think we sleep it. We have to go was it this guy? Yeah, he revives you. There you go. Let's see, seven swords in. Yeah, we can rest here. Save the game? Yeah. Override? Yes. <laughs> Saving? Yeah, let's do it. Happy travels. Thank you. All right. I feel like this is a good place for me to end. Because I, 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 I think I did enough testing for today. <laughs> I think I did enough testing. Maybe next time when I do like a DS test, I'll probably do like the Final Fantasy games that I were meant that I was mentioning because I'm I'm really I really want those to work. I really want those to work. But yeah, um let me go pull out the ending screen screen. But yeah. Oh god. This was a an interesting stream with you guys. Me just um dicking around with my laptop trying to make sure everything works. And the end product, it it's okay. I, I think it's fine. I, I can, like, try to see if I can improve it later on. And whatnot, who knows. Maybe, like, one day I might get, like, a desktop. And that might give me enough power to, like, <laughs> to actually stream. I mean, yeah, yeah, stream DS games more easily now. And whatnot, because at the moment, my laptop is just struggling but it's fine i think it's i'm doing fine at the moment but yeah <laughs> um it was still fun being around it is so like yeah <laughs> 
at least I was able to show you guys Seven Dragons. And I do like the game a lot. I know this stream doesn't, like, <laughs> make you think, like, Oh, this looks like a fun game. <laughs> and whatnot because of my laptop. But I promise you guys that this game does run better on either a stronger PC or on the actual DS. And it is quite a fun game to, like, kind of relax with. I would describe the overall tone of the game being like, yeah, you're going on like this cool adventure and you're just like soaking in all the scenery, just like going everything at your own pace. I would describe it as like older RPGs, like Final Fantasy 1, 2, or 3, like those type of games. Also, um, Dragon Quest 1, 2, and 3 as well. Those type of games. Like they gave you a lot of like freedom in a sense that you can just go wherever you want Nothing's stopping you. There's no cutscenes trying to tell you that, um, hey, you need to go to this one place and you can't leave that place until you beat the story event. No. All you have is a map and your heartbeat. That's all you need. <laughs> and whatnot. But yeah. Um, I, <laughs> so yeah, that's how I would describe Seven Dragons. It's that classic old formula that I honestly like a lot and I kind of miss nowadays. Because nowadays, every RPG is like, yeah, heavy story, like, lots of cutscenes. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, mind you. I do like it. It's just that I miss having the freedom. The freedom of going on my own pace. I, I miss it a lot. <laughs> and everything. But yeah. I think that's all for me to, like, talk about with Seven Dragons. So, I will start thanking you guys. And I really appreciate you guys a lot for, like, sticking this long. And, um chatting with me while I'm just trying to figure all of this out. Like, I really appreciate it a lot. I think it, I think me, like, doing it with you guys actually made, made it more fun because if I didn't stream this and, like, you know, do this testing stream and whatnot, I'm just doing it in my own time. I'll probably be more frustrated if, in, if anything. I would have been, like, more mad or irritated. But because of me, like, chatting with you guys and you guys are, like, providing, like, your own insight pop, like, and also, like, other solutions to it, it really helped me a lot. And it kind of like made me, I would say, more knowledgeable of these things now. So I see this as like a good learning opportunity. So thank you guys for that. Um, I think I'm done with thanks. So I'll say my goodbyes now. So <laughs> have a good day. Have a good night. Have a good afternoon, whatever time it is on your side of the world. This is Fine and Mizu saying goodbye. Goodbye. Also, what I want to see what you guys wrote down real quick. Um, it was fun to see the game. Makes me want to play it. Yeah, I'm glad that's the case. Um, still looks fun, Lomao. I might look into it one day after you, <laughs> after you finished with beating it. Yep, I would. I will try to stream this with you guys. I'm, <laughs> I'm hoping that the stream progress will be good <laughs> and everything. Okie dokie. See you later, Mizu. Thank you for your stream. Mm hmm Bye. Have a good night. Thank you. But yeah. Man. <laughs> so yeah, goodbye. Alright, um, where's my off button? Oh wait, I forgot to tell you guys. I will do a stream tomorrow. It will be Final Fantasy. And me doing the, the time labyrinth. The time, um, usual time, 11 a.m. PST time. That will be when I will stream. So yeah, I forgot to mention that, so my bad. <laughs> now I'll say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Pog, indeed. <laughs>